there are. Yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, a lot of mushrooms will only be associated with one tree, like, for example, say, like the birch belief. It's a belief that only grows around birches, and, um, but yeah, it, I mean, it's a, it's a network of mycelium, which is just the culture of the fungus, and it grows in with the root systems, and the, the mycelium um, helps channel in, uh, like, nitrogen for the trees, and the trees actually make sugars for the mycelium, and so that's how that's how they work together. The the roots are taking up moisture and stuff for the mycelium, and they are just helping each other out. There's a specific mushroom always symbiotic from a specific type of plant. Usually, you can if, if you're looking. So if you're a gardener, that's another clue. Yeah, and, and if you have certain mushrooms growing in your property, usually they're associated with something. Some mushrooms are associated with multiple plants or trees, some just one. So it depends what you have. And if you have certain plants on your in your property that you really want healthier and you want to plant some mushrooms um, for their, you know, for their benefit, then it's worth the research to find out which mushrooms will grow symbiotically with them. There are some elites in the library park. Where the uh, birch trees are. I'm sure they're birch trees. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh my gosh, there's so many If they, they have like, like little, like, if the stem's really kind of scaly and got like rough little like fibrils and stuff on it, then it's definitely the birch belief if it's got the, you know, sponge, the pores underneath Great. and stuff that gills. Most beliefs are edible. Um, the only ones I would suggest against are any that have a pink or red. Um, core bottom. But other than that, most beliefs are edible. We're at the farm at least four days a week, and if you ever find something you really want to know what it is, you can always call us and come by the farm anytime. Um, we're near Lebanon, so we're a little drive, but if it's growing in your yard, it might be worth the drive. So hit us up anytime. We're, we're also at the um, Lane County Farmer's Market on Saturday and the Corvallis Saturday Market. Um, hit or miss in Lebanon. Oh, um, right. <laughs> usually we send an intern, but they can always bring it home to us. But it's over. It's over, yeah.